Fanatics on the banks of Volga, cannibals in the mountain bunker, slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves, and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Gul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster? The inertia of thought that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. Sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kind of dreamy when drunk. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. Yeah. 
What did I miss? You should have seen them dance. Don't you worry. You'll get another chance. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Duke, Damir. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, <laughs> and much deliberation, we found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations, everyone! Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 Yet, uh, this is not our last <laughs> order of business for today. Stepan, Katya. Oh, Prince! Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow for to better hold you from this day forward. For better or for worse. For, or for, worse. for richer, <coughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness, in sickness and, and in health. In health. To love and to cherish to and until to cherish death was part. To us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and good Gorka! 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 What's happening? Be careful, people! Anna, please hold on. What's happening? What is it, Anna? What's that cough? Gotcha. Do something, please! Don't this can't be her. good. Give her air. Damn! I'm sorry, I didn't say anything. What are you talking about, baby? In the Yamantau. When they dragged me away, <laughs> that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said I don't How have lungs. How can you believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Katya, Artem, a few words. Go. I'm fine now. I don't know about this. The old man is furious. Artyom's oh, getting chewed up today. So, son, care to tell me what do we do please. now? Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid matter into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for lungs. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start. My thoughts exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Anna coughed up some blood. Oh, God. Do you really think it's the same? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there medicine? 
There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For Lena's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If our state worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer, and go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. Oh, good. Now I understand why she was so down lately. Just imagine thinking about all that for so long. Here are your orders, everyone. First of all, stay calm. The plan stands. We head for that valley with its fresh air and clean water. Then we go about settling there. If Anna's health... Dad, please... I repeat, Anna, in case you start getting worse, there's a drug Katya told us about, so we can go and find it for you, if it is needed. Mm, that sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on. You didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yamantau. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right. A toast. To you guys. Just be happy together. To you! you. To you. Great ah! toast! Will you play that song? Oh. About us. Give us pie. Если будет ничей, пора вернуть эту 
землю себе. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю This себе. This is definitely about us. There's even a kernel in it. Yes, it is time we took this land back. And one more thing. We don't want surprises like the ones we had on the Volga or in Yamantau. So we're sending a scouting party ahead on a rail car. Artyom needs a volunteer to support him. Me! Pick me! I'll check the hell out of that valley, please! <laughs> Something makes me think that Alyosha is mainly going to check if there are any Amazons or women in general there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all set. Frankly, I envy you, Stepan. You got a full family, a wife and child at once. And you don't have to worry about diapers <laughs> or belly aches. Envy is a bad thing. <laughs> we're not the ones to avoid diapers, Colonel. In fact, we're planning to present Nastya with a little brother, if she doesn't object. I'd rather get a sister. We could play with dolls together. I could care for her. You could play Sparta in special operations with the brother. Ah, cut it out, Stepan. God knows we've had enough of operations. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I'd like to retire. Time to have some life! You can't retire yet. You're too young. <laughs> I am old, Nastya. You're not. Ah, you said envy was a bad thing, Nastya. Huh? But what am I to do? Your mom has you, but my Anna doesn't have a smart girl like you. Dad! Don't dad me! A 20-year-old won't even think about children. But I would sure like to see grandchildren at my age. Yeah, you teach them CQC. Dual-wielding pistols. <laughs> <laughs> I could come visit you. Of course, you're welcome, Nastya. The thing is, Grandpa Miller won't give up until he has grandchildren of his own. Hear that, Artyom? I don't even know what else to say. She's beautiful, sporting. Yeah, I'm Olympic level with a rifle. I get not having kids in metal. Darkness, TB, rats, mutations. But what about here? <laughs> All right, Dad. We'll get to work on solving your problem tonight. And that note, how about a drink? To repopulation of Earth. To kids. Yes! To children! To children! To children. Just to like water. water. And one more toast to, to the new colony. May it grow and right. prosper. To the new to colony! The new colony. Hey. <laughs> <sighs> Yes, and more women join it! <laughs> <laughs> Alyosha, I never doubted you. Yes, Alyosha, I don't think you should be worried about that. If we are successful, there will be people joining us. Honest, good people. I'm sure they survive too. Well, if any bad people decide to show up, they'll be sorry they did. <laughs> oh, definitely. When we're done with the bad apples here, we might think of something to do about Moscow. That's true. To love! To love! To love. <laughs> Just like it's your turn, Artyom. Come on, impress us. This heat is just unbearable, I must say.
Уэлл, братуха! Анна Шурга и Васол из Хер. Ой, вот дочь Вори! И даст вот лайк туберкулез из Баткатия и за Рил Медич. И... Там еще у Путер Бекон фит, и нот тайм и тот. А besides, there's finally something nice I had a river, a forest, even a hydroelectric dam. That sounds interesting. I haven't fixed one yet. So don't worry, Artyomich, everything will be fine. Soon we'll have a chance at normal lives at that venue, you know? Are you and Anna gonna have kids, Artyom? It's about time, Bratucha! Moscow doesn't sound right for those with radiation and all, but the valley... Oh, that's the place. And Stepan and Katya would follow suit, too, since they're married. <laughs> We do have to populate the colony, you know. We'll do the good ones, too, with some skilled people, and most importantly, smart people. And we'll surely attract more. Jim, as you can see, I'm giving the weapons some care after the desert. Sit with me, Artyom. Play some more! Stepan, could you give us that one? By Borisich. My pleasure. I can't say I've ever been religious, but right now I'm begging all gods, please, watch over Anna and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there, though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission. Yes, I must say, I'm rather partial to this valley. Take care for one. Makes your head swim. 
Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just cure Anna. It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. Damn, this is one bumpy ride. The rails are all bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and tell them to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. for one. Scott, your friend, but I can see your two are not bandits. I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. Gotta run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Catch you later.
Please, man! Don't leave me here! Uh, I owe you a big one, and I'll never forget this, I swear! Uh, these forest fuckers just left me here for the wolves! I don't seem to recognize you. Which barrack are you from? You sure have some nice gear. In any case, don't go there alone. I tried, and, well, you know what happened. Ah, oh, these bitches hiding like fucking lizards. Oh, I found a way in and was going back already when the fuckers jumped me. Fuck. Stop right there! It's the brethren of the coaster! Take another step and we run our rig on you! Hi! Another step and you die! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, so beat it, you scallywag! If you know what's good for your ground-loving ass! Even one of you drifters we caught today is too much!
I should have used my authority to stop them from trying. But back then, I still harbored hopes for evacuation too. Vain hopes, as I understand now, for what evacuation could we expect if there's only stacked on air? Help is not enough. And again, do we even need help? Our valley was apparently not the target at all. Even the fallout seemed to have spared us. Encounters between all green ladies, even directly under the drain pipe. The children are well prepared. All that time I can work that well. It will be easy to teach them hunting. We have all the necessities. And what we don't have, we can make ourselves. To hell with doubt. Let's tackle problems as they arise. Survival comes first. Look, I've been thinking about asking all this time. All this pirate stuff, the corpses on the post. Do you guys really think the teacher wanted this? The teacher wanted us to defend ourselves. Well, none of this stuff helps. The bandits have been seen in the village again. Plus, our guys caught a drifter today. This just means they need us to remind them the lesson. That's why we're here. We'll catch a couple and make some fresh scarecrows. Well, bandits... I do understand. They did terrible things here. But this new drifter doesn't look like a bandit. Perhaps he was just passing by. If he is not a bandit, he should have just passed us by. But no, he crawled out of the river here. I say make a scarecrow out of him and keep the others away. I don't know about this, really.
nothing that Drifter can do. We're not afraid of some bandit washer. Yeah, Drifter's over there! No, no sleeping. The master of the forest is...